reason for shortening the thing, I want to make it easy for myself to finish it. And it's not something to measure, but I know if I just move my pencil from the wrist to get about the right kind of curve, mm. and that mm. for me suits how I'm going to sit and pull it across a whetstone. Fluffy lines, because I'm just doing the general layout of this, but when it comes to the point of trying to get some visual idea of what it's going to look like with more detail, I just very lightly line it in and then just black out the background. Things can look quite different if you go to the, take the trouble of doing this. So what did we say? If that's, that's three inches, I've drawn it to be where the pivot is, so we're going to end up with something that's definitely legal. Yep. So somewhere around there, it's going to end up falling up. The next thing I'd look at is the depth of the spine, and I want to make this knife from 3mm material, I've decided. So if it's going to be 3mm, I just know from experience that the minimum I want to go on that at this stage is 3mm. Okay. So I can kind of sketch in where that's going to sit if I want to preserve this top line. Mm -hmm. It's going to get fatter towards the end. Without trying to draw in what's going to happen down there with any kind of accuracy, I'll just sketch it in very roughly. Mm. I can guess that that's going to appear somewhere over here. So the handle I think has got to cover the end of the spring, hopefully cover the end of that notch when it's closed up, so that's determining the kind of finishing shape for the end of it there. Mm. Not to leave at least that much of it embedded in. There's a point, there's a point. I could just join it all up together as I've started to do here. But you're left with a fairly chunky, slabby sized object. So I want to do some kind of cutaway to allow a nice generous area to get into that. You could be not brutal, you could be very direct about it and have a scooped area. Mm. So that might make something that looks quite intriguing and sculptural. I could see that having some kind of wooden finish perhaps like that and mm. might want to solder on a nice big chunk of silver and make that be a real yeah. Yeah. kind of thing. So another way of doing it would be just to make a very large scoop, just change the feel of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. That's what most of the knives I've made have had as a feature. You've then got some kind of curve that complements all the rest of the thing when it's open. It's, it's suggestive, it's like a very enlarged version of what people expect to see on that part of a knife there. Mm, so it's a little mm. bit of a clue for them. It's a nice area left at the end where you can put in some kind of tube rivet. Mm. I can't make a knife directly from this drawing. What I could start to do is, is make that, mm -hmm. probably make that in preference to working this any further on paper. Mm.